Yeah, what is up everybody? Brian with you from the Game Cabinet. We are playing some more Civ 6, continuing with our uh, Scotland campaign. Sorry, been a couple days and completely distracted by what's going on here. Uh, I just see the barbarians everywhere and that, yeah, a little distracting. So I'm a little worried about him coming and potentially taking that. Um, we were gonna buy an archer, right? Yeah, yeah, that was the plan, wasn't it? Dang. Dang, you're the 36 one, right? No, you're at 20. So if I go in the marshland, that is a negative three. So we would be at 25. Uh, he would be at 20 minus eight plus two. So he'd get the minus six, so you'd be at 14. I think this is still worth it, just so he suicides and dies. But then again, why? Why not just sit here, take the plus three, and then let him kill himself later? Yeah, I think that's fine. I ultimately will probably end up swapping the archer and the warrior. Although I don't know if I want to wait a turn, but eh, whatever, whatever. And we can immediately buy the walls with faith. Uh, except we don't have any faith. <laughs> yeah, well, we would be able to if we had faith. The funny thing is I totally did a thumbs up there when I was like, we could totally buy the walls with faith, but I don't have the webcam on. Anyways, anyways, hope you guys are doing good. I've been sick the last couple days. Um, nothing like Corona or anything like that. I got myself sick on gluten. So uh, if you don't know, I uh, have a gluten intolerance that I discovered about a year and a half ago. I actually have a celiac. I kind of was thinking that maybe, I was hoping maybe since it'd been a while, uh, that maybe I would respond slightly better to it. Uh, that was unfortunately not the case. And Monday, which is when I record the first three episodes for the series, I just started feeling really, really, really terrible uh, throughout the day and just absolutely felt like crap by the end of the day. So, anyways, I'm okay now, though. So... How do I want to do this? The archer only has a range of one, so I'm not really concerned. So I think I am just going to go ahead and start shooting this guy then. He will most likely either suicide into Edinburgh, or he will go ahead and hit my warrior either way, and then we'll go swap. But the thing is, if he's not going to attack, I'm probably fine with that. We will go move you here. This is somewhat dangerous because he could go and attack down, which, I mean, once again, it's not going to do that much damage. So the bigger problem is he is now spotting my city, so we're going to start getting hit with even more units. Yeah, that's always fun. So we were going to go take you over here, correct? Pretty sure. And things are pretty safe over here because uh, there's no barbarians. So I'm fine with that. Dude, the marshlands. Oh, my gosh. With the marshland pantheon like right here. Like, oh, my gosh. That would be a 4 2 3 2 4 2 3 2. Like, this would be just the sickest city ever. Where do we actually want to put this city? The marshlands. I mean, it'll grow really fast. How's that one 18 and you're at negative two? <laughs> that feels a little wrong. Probably at the negative two. Yeah, like how how is one tile such a difference? God, the loyalty in this one is really messy. I don't know. I'm thinking on the negative two because it'll be able to grow pretty quickly because of all those marshes. And I like going as far west as possible. Keep popping out settlers, correct? Let's do a granary first, and the only reason I'm going to do that is so I can go ahead and move Magnus down to Aberdeen so it doesn't lose a pop, and then I should be able to take you back up to Sterling, and we should be fine there. We're popping out many, many units. Mongolia still hates us, so we still got to be careful with that. Okay, 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 yeah, we're trying to get a Golden Age, I remember now. Yeah, okay, we got 17 turns left, and we will because we are about to get... No, we already got it. I thought we were cruising to a golden age. That one only gave us plus two. I thought the new government gives you plus four. I did. I mean, we're still going to flip, what, two more cities? Oh, hello, Cree. I haven't seen the Cree in a while. Uh-uh. They are down here. No, it's Germany. Where are you at? Ah, uh, they're up here. I don't send a rate. Okay, they're far enough away that it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I don't want to go right here. Huh. I mean, harbor here. 
Put the city here, put a harbor here. We'd still get access to the food pretty easily. We could obviously also just go on the grassland, or uh, for the olives, but eh, I think I'd rather just work them. One, two, three. This would then allow us to have a city. One, two, three, over here. Or more likely, it allowed Germany to have a city over there. It would have to be one of these two tiles. I think I'd rather sit here. It would just be a 2-1, but so would this one. Uh, and then I could work the 2-2 two -two as opposed to the faith. I'd actually be able to work two 2-2s two -two as opposed to the food, not the faith. The thing is here, I am a little worried because it's starting to get a little worse. I mean, we... So, wh which one was it? This one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I mean, the thing is, we're going to want a city over here. So let's actually, let's let's calculate this backwards then. Uh, which tile does it, eh, probably just go up here. So let's go throw this down here. Um, this city we will grab much later because I'm not really too worried about someone coming in and grabbing that. Okay, so then one, two, three, four. It would have to be, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. If I went, okay, so, but then if I went here, one, two, three. I would have to go all the way up here. Maybe. Dude, this is actually a really good campus now that I look at it. Uh-huh. So, let's see what this tile looks like. I mean, that's another okay harbor. And you could put a pretty decent campus. It's a grassland hill, so it'd be a 2-1 still. It's not going to have a lot of production, though. Which is why I think we have to go here. I think this is just a better tile. It would be pretty protected, though. Yeah, because they'd have to invade from here. Yeah. I, th I think we're going to go... I think we're going to do it here. And then probably just say, screw whatever... Uh, is up over there. We're just not gonna be able to grab it. I think uh, Let's just grab defensive tactics Do we need more envoys or do we want governor policies? I think we wanted governor policies Because yeah, envoys we were pretty good with Maybe I don't know we got the double suzerains We just really care about having a Valetta just so we can build our walls everyone else. I don't really care about right now You're running back home You're running away so he did end up attacking me we're gonna go here and defend and then we'll probably have to shoot you in the marshland it's gonna be a little sketchy here but I think we'll be okay uh yeah I kind of want another archer here as well but we can't afford it so I maybe could sell some stuff or yeah 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 we'll be fine He's not going to be able to kill us. The, I just don't want to take too much damage, I think, is my only concern at this point. So, I would love to spread my religion here to someone that will actually get converted. Uh, so, let's look at this really quick. You're going to convert you, which is going to put us at 40. So, I need one more city conversion. So, Edinburgh. Or Dumbarton. Either way. Yeah, we'll just bring you back up to Dumbarton. Okay, so we will have a gold mage. That is basically guaranteed at this point. Um, I would like you to come around over here. I don't really want you to go next to the volcano, but it is what it is. Although those are sexy volcano tiles, where ours are not quite. I don't have the mark of evil. I believe in owls. Come on, man. Jeez. Okay, so we got our galley. That was actually error score right there, too. Okay, so we actually don't need to convert, but there's no reason to not. Uh, convert at this point I will bring you across that's gonna give you plus five for the river crossing plus another plus three for the ideal terrain so that's gonna put you at a plus eight total you are currently at 25 26 27 20 26 yeah yeah 26 plus another eight is gonna be 34 he is attacking at 30 plus the support bonus yeah yeah, so we're gonna be stronger than him right now. That's good. Good, 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 good. Um, is this 20s? Yeah, see, this is 20. I still don't get how he got the 36, dude. That just, that's frustrating to me. I think I've come to terms with this being not terrible at all anymore, whatever. But I think I came to terms with it being like, okay, he's got decent sized cities. Maybe that's why. Still. 
kind of frustrated about this other part. Um... Okay, this is fine. So we finished the galley for the Eris score, or I'm not entirely sure why we ended up doing the galley. Do we do the galley for shipbuilding? I don't remember the exact reason. It's been a couple days. You guys settle are going in nine turns. Builder is also feasible here, or not a terrible decision. Oh, let's do granary first again. Because we're just trying to get these guys uh, in different timings. We're, we're going to have to wait. We'd have to wait an extra five turns anyways. Or wait, nine turns. Two turns. Or one turn. Either way, you'd have to wait. So uh, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, you know, I think I just wanted him for the defensive, right? Just in case he came at me. I mean, sure. Sure. The North Sea. That would be because of me. There's no England in the game, I think. So, yeah, we saw it first. Uh, you want open borders. I do not want to give you that. You would not... Oh, I totally forgot to send him a envoy. Little sketchy. Okay, or you would just bypass and go straight for that guy. But he had the fortification bonus, so sure. Um, I will go ahead and just kill you off. You have a promotion, but I can't really use it. You might as well come here now as well. Okay. Okay. We good. We good. So, I think it's too late. What's Kree's thing? Multiple alliances. So, he will ultimately like us because we will have alliances. It's just a matter of time. You still just don't want to like us even though... Oh, yeah, because I have a single cab unit. I remember. I remember it well. My one cab. And then I guess you guys were just here defending in case he ever came at us. Which, sure. Little annoying, yes, but... Sure. So, we said we wanted here. If Brazil gets a Dark Age, we might be able to go over there. Uh, Probably another 14 turns, which is a little unfortunate. I want it to be a little faster, but it is what it is. Getting a builder would be kind of nice at this point as well, but... Ooh, ancient walls are only 80? Ooh. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to throw them down in air. The reasoning for that is, once again, just worried about Mongolia. Uh, Not really worried about the barbarians. We're fine up here. We are fine. And with 17 faith per turn, we're going to cleared out here pretty quick I need I need I need I need builders here yeah how much are they 220 oh that's trader 230 um okay uh you know we do have horsies we do have horsies let's let's see about making some money I don't think I want to trade away my last thing to make us happy you're probably not gonna trade me a whole lot for this and eh, we'll wait We'll wait. I thought I had more horses. I guess I did just trade them off, maybe. Gang of four. I should have named our religion Make Cyberpunk. <laughs> Fiction again. Uh, something along those lines. I have to say, still super stoked for the game. Although I really want them to come out with the freaking RPG rule set. Like, what the hell? And, like, all these people have been, like, playing with the rule sets on YouTube. I, I would think that they got it for free you know like hey here's the beta rule set or something like that it's just like i really want it i really 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 want it part of it's like they release the starter pack or the jump starter pack but it doesn't have like a lot of explanations like you can kind of do a campaign with it but not really not really so it's kind of frustrating because it's like dang it uh all right well we're gonna have to come all the way up here i really want a little bit more explanation There's just not really a whole lot for us to do at this point. Just keep chugging along. Okay, so he's essentially just now rolling around with uh, horse archers at this point, which I'm totally fine with. I think I will go ahead and upgrade you. We got a minute. You guys can keep healing up. We'll probably go on the offensive here. I would rather wait till we had swordsmen, but that's going to be a while. So, yeah. Uh, we'll hold on to Envoy. 
at this point. I don't need him. Okay, just checking. Dude! Interesting. This actually would have been worth maybe doing one dude, just so I could have gotten bronze and get an extra two faith per turn. Yeah, I, I, I kind of forgot that was a thing. That might have just been worth it. Because we do want the faith. The faith is helpful, no doubt. But okay, I mean, it's what it is. But we can always second guess ourselves, right? All right, so you're going to get absolutely murdered. He's going to go there, and then I will probably use these guys to murder him. Um, this warrior, we're going to want to, like, move up. I'm going to want to get him up there. I love how that broke my fortification bonus, too. But anyways, we're going to want to, like, swap and get them to potentially go over here. I'm wondering if maybe I should just start taking him around backwards, if that's going to be more efficient. Maybe... Probably gonna need to wait for this other archer to finish, right? Just to be safe. It's one of these things where it's like, this camp sucks, but it's not gonna kill me. So we probably could just wait a bit. He's not gonna be able to shoot me. How did he, what's the movement? Three, I guess it's two to move into the marsh. This would be a full three, so he wouldn't be able to shoot us. Um, I will go kill you this way, and we will go shoot you that way. And then he'll go there, and I'll kill him next turn, and life will be great. I don't need to flank you around now that I just popped him out, I suppose. Makes sense. You are going to go grab the granary. Do I want to go grab this city right away? This is interesting. Huh. Don't want to grab any of these. Oh, man. Mongolia is going for Valletta. Don't do it, Mongolia! No, this is not fun. We are about to get the golden era. You know what, screw it, let's go right here. God dang it. Gosh dang it. What about suzerain Valletta and then just surrounding? <laughs> uh, he only has three troops. So I would not be able to fully surround the city. Is he going to be able to take over Valletta? I mean... Probably not. Because he's going to have to go through here. I would love to see, like, one archer in Valletta. That would that would be a little... It would make him a little safer. Okay, anyways, you are going to go back to Sterling. Thank you. There's going to be some potential loyalty issue there, but I think once you start growing, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Aberdeen's at... Yeah, and see, once you finish the... That's 130. No, let's go ahead and just buy the walls here, too. Yeah. Let's just get them out. I do want to... I do want to get the granaries, but... I think I'm fine with that for now. Do I need the food here? I'm going to go there, because we're going to go ahead and purchase a builder. Although, honestly, having two builders probably isn't that bad of an idea. So, she loves us, but she already liked us, so it didn't really matter. Um, I could potentially bring you and maybe help... Like, just even... Eh, I just... Ugh. Man. I'm helping, guys! It's not really a good way to do this. Okay, so we're gonna shoot you. I think we gotta swap this way. Because I think I have to leave with the warrior. I just don't want to put the archer here and then have like 14 horse archers come and murder him. That would just kind of be annoying. Uh, yes, Dumfries is good to go. We will... Go, I suppose, Granary Builder? Let's do Builder Granary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's the attack on Vol Oh, god dang it. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Well, okay, here's the thing. We gotta keep this in mind. He will conquer Valletta, but we will actually... He will have loyalty issue. It'll flip back. So we're just gonna have to make sure we conquer it back. Yeah. So we're gonna want a horseman then. So I can have at least a little bit of combat strength to take back Valletta. It's okay. And it's just gonna give us free suzerain again. 
And honestly, we'll end up with a net positive here. All right. All right. Okay. I'm not so mad about this anymore. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So, how are you? You're at negative four. It's going to be really hard to, you know, grab you if all your troops are there. Just throwing that out there. It's going to be a little annoying, but, you know, you do you. Uh, hey, Mongolia. I did not realize we no longer have open borders. Thank you. Let's double check with everyone else real quick. You are good. Um, I'm not going to joint war. Wait, who are you at war with? No one. Oh, it's just a joint war. Everyone hates Mongolia, which... Here's the thing that we also got to keep in mind. Oh, that might actually be bad. So, most likely, he will get triggered with the emergency war. And it seems as if everyone's going to jump in on it. The downside is you get a crazy boost to loyalty for the uh, emergency war. So, we're actually not going to be able to flip him back. Hopefully, that's not going to take up the whole next era because I will be able to loyalty flip him. I also, Brazil may be able to take him on, like, let's see. Brazil's only at 144. Now, see, I think, and Korea, I think, might be too far away. I don't think uh, they would be able to take it back. Mm -mm. So that would kind of suck, straight up, if that emergency war triggered. But okay, this is fine. <sighs> How we doing? I mean, we good. We good. I mean, we're just cruising to a science victory. Does anyone have a lot of science right now? Yeah, actually. Uh, huh. We're a little behind in science. I'm now realizing we probably should start working on some campuses. <laughs> yeah, you know, if you're gonna go for a science victory, you probably should get some campuses. You know, at some point. But whatever. It's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Why were we so slow? Well, yeah, we had to build a lot of warriors. We've ended up building a lot more troops than I normally do at this point in the game. And that's probably 100% of the reason why, right? We've also had multiple cities popping out settlers. So at this point in the game, I probably have more cities than I normally do. Because generally, I only have one city that does the settler popping. They do all the baby making for us. Huh. Please move. Please move. Please move. Please move. Please move or die. Please move or die. I. We're gonna go around. It's gonna take too long if we don't. I don't know. I might move in there and help out. We'll see. Okay, see, you're regular horsey, right? Yep, regular horsey. Hmm. That's frustrating. I'm telling you, I have no idea where those 36 dudes came from. And we'll go kill you. And this is another... No, nope, that's a 36 one too. What the frick? Where are these guys coming from? So he's going to whack me. This is going to hurt. He might die. Because he's going to destroy me. I might have to suicide him just to get rid of the camp. That's unfortunate, but I, I, I'm not sure I see another way around it. Hey, buddy. So this would be a 3-2. This one's actually not going to be that good. It would give us two faith, but it's only a 1-1. One, one. So it would be, what, a 1-3-2? So, three, four, five, six pips. Three, four, five pips. Actually, doesn't that also give food? Or sheeps? Or camp sheeps? No. Yeah, harvesting. Oh, no, 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 Is that cartography? I think it's over here. Exploration. Now, so, yeah. Oh, Merchant Republic. Okay. So, now that is only going to be five pips. And then you are one, two, three, four, five. Uh, but you were the camp. No, no. Uh, 
camp, right? Nope, pasture. No, it was camp. Okay, because this said camp there. I, I had it right the first time. So you're two gold. We don't have mercantilism. So you're going to be a uh, three, four, five, six, seven pip. So then technically here and there are going to be our best two options. The downside is we're actually lacking food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That That's what I want to see. So then maybe we do want the sheep just so we can get a little bit of extra food. So city can grow. Yeah, I think so. I think I think so. I think I convinced myself. Probably campus. Probably put the campus there. This is another interesting Petro City, but we're gonna end up putting it in our capital if we get it. Uh, you want? I'm actually good with that because now that I remember. We, we don't want to build horsemen because we don't want him pissed. Yeah, another 36er. All right, well, goodbye. It was nice. Thank you for your support. Thank you for living. Um, but yeah, that sucks. I hate that we're going to end up losing him, but uh, it's okay. We got rid of the encampment, so that's, 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 that's what we had to do. All right, you guys just chill here and get ready to clear those guys out as they move through. Um, he's still blocking me, so yeah, we're going to keep going around. He is pushing right on Valetto. He does have the river crossing, though, so... I mean, it's not a done deal yet. It is not a done deal, and we're just going to keep advancing time. Uh, mathematics is incoming. And then we're going to want to go ahead and switch over to uh, ironworking instead of horsies. So that'll be fine. Okay. Now, the downside is I do need to kill these guys eventually because I need to go put a city over there. But it's going to take a minute. So you're at six turns. This is going to be perfect. How's the air still losing loyalty here? Dang it. Stop growing your cities, man. All right. <laughs> We're having a hard time exploring this little territory over here. I like this map. Pretty freaking cool. Mm-hmm. I'm digging it. Yeah, he only has heavy chariots right now. The biggest issue is whether or not Valletta is shooting the catapult. If Valletta is shooting something other than the catapult, not going to work too well. Go grab that. Let's go get the food. You're going to boom. I could actually harvest it, but eh, I like working the sheep. And I want that and that. I know this is more pips, but I need you to grow. And next turn, you're going to grow and you can grab that. Actually, if you're going to go ahead and grow that... Yeah, if you're going to grow in one turn, it doesn't matter. Take the production. Roger. Roger, Dodger. What? Why? Why, Brian? How old are you? Don't even. What was that from? I don't even know. I just remember hearing it. Roger Dodger. It's a film in 2000. It originated during World War II and was verbally circulated throughout the United States military... As a story about a pilot or soldier that added his own flair to a radio phraseology. The punchline of the story is Roger Dodger, you old codger. The story is passed along. A okay, so here's a version of the story. A squadron of naval aircraft was returning to a base after a wildly successful mission. One pilot in particular was feeling especially cocky. After receiving landing instructions, the pilot signed off his radio message with Roger Dodger. The next transmission was from an irate sounding naval officer. He bellowed, in this man's Navy, there will be no flippant remarks on the radio. He went on to say that he was a U.S. Navy commander and intended to find the offender to personally reprimand him. The rambunctious pilot acknowledged by saying, Roger Dodger, you old codger i'm a commander too <laughs> okay that was terrible all right all right i mean that's a thing that's a thing that's a thing uh okay so we need campus time let's go ahead and start knocking him out because we need to get some science going let's go ahead and delete you what are we going to do with you I, I i still think we send you this way we got warrior, we got an archer we can send to protect, and we're about to get the golden arrow. And like I said before, we really want to <laughs> hate you, um, but I want this territory. I still need the iron and stuff, but like, whatever. Whatever, it is what it is. Okay. Who did you end up shooting? I don't think you ended up shooting. Ah, eh, no, you might have done some damage. I hate the fact that you have crossbows already. That sucks. It is what it is. 
Um, I think we we're doing food, weren't we? Uh, I think it's time for us to actually send this up to Sterling. Because mathematics isn't that far behind. We have a holy site. This will be district number two. We don't have a third district, so that's fine. That's fine. Where are my people? Ping is up there. Ping should be in Sterling at this point. Did... Yes, I moved Moshka instead of Magnus. Yes, I did that. Oh, wait, what are we doing, Brad? No, 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 no. We're putting Moshka, or sorry, Magnus in air. Oh my gosh. Yes, and then I want Ping in our capital. Okay, and then we will take Moshka and we will go throw him in Edinburgh. God, this is why you never grab an early Moshka. I keep freaking thinking he's Magnus. All right, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Is that like the 14th time? That's at least the second time I've mixed those two up. I think it actually might be the third time. But anyways, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment. Let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment. Show your support. I'll see you guys next episode tomorrow. Bye, everyone.